Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more 7 Engineering updates. First of all, please watch the 3D animation of uh, this BBS of the footing and then I will explain the bar bending schedule of the footing. Now, as you watch the 3D view of the footing, how the reinforcement is placed, the main reinforcement and the distribution reinforcement, and I will explain the lecture about the bar bending schedule of the footing. So, this is the elevation of the footing, and this is the plan of the footing. This shows the column here in the plan, and this shows the column in the elevated section. So, the reinforcement, the main reinforcement is placed like this, and there, and the distribution reinforcement are placed like this and we see and the from one view similarly in this case if we remove the column from the looking from the top we see the one reinforcement here in this direction and the other reinforcement the distribution bar in the other direction the dimensions the dimension of this plan is 12 foot and 15 foot The depth of the footing is known to us, we suppose it to be 3 foot. So now to understand it, see, the bar, the, the bar bending schedule of the footing, we should know these terms. The bar numbers, how which bar is used, the description of the bar, the shape, the length of the bar, the total quantity, the total length, the weight per unit length and the total weight. From this, you will always see this type of terms used in the bar bending schedule of any maybe a foot maybe a beam maybe a column so this is the bar bending schedule of the footing so now starting here from the first one is when a bar number is here let's taking that the number eight bar are used here as main reinforcement a distance of 10 inches center to center while the distribution bars are number eight bars it 12 inches center to center so now first of all taking the main bar reinforcement so i will write here the bar number is number eight bar is the number eight bar is used here is main reinforcement now the description i will write it here the main bar the main bar and footing so in the shape i will i will draw the shape like this one because we see it's double l shape the length of the bar, how to calculate the length of the bar? Is we know that the length of the one dimension is 12 foot. This is 12 foot. So we can know about the length of this bar by subtracting the clear cover of the bars. This is 3 inches here and 3 inches here. We will get, and adding the two hooked length, we will get the length of the bar. So how 12 foot is the total length of the dimension, subtracting the two clear cover. 6 inches we convert into foot and then adding the this hook length hook length is taken as 6 inches one and 6 inches other so we will get the 12 inches means 1 foot so by calculating we will get the 12.5 foot is the length of the bar 12.5 foot the quantity of bar how much number of bars are used so as we know that the main bars are these one and they are placed in this direction in this direction and in 15 foot so how we can know about the quantity of the bar we can know by using this formula by 15 is we know 15 is the length of the bar and changing it to inches we multiply by 12 inches because one foot is 12 inches so we get 180 and as we know that the the distance between two bar of the main bar is 10 inches so we dividing it by 10 we get the 10 it means 18 number of bars are in the main reinforcement used throughout the 15 foot length. The total length of the bar can be we get by 
multiplying the each length of the bar with 18 we get the 225 foot how, how will we know about the weight of the bar is we know that the unit weight of the number 8 bar is unit weight of number 8 bar is 2.67 pound per foot this is the unit weight of number 8 bar so we multiply, write it here 2.67 pound per foot now to know the total weight we should multiply the total length with the unit weight of the bar we will get to know 600 pounds to convert into tons we should divide it by 2204 and we get 0.27 tons tons of steel are is used only in main bar is main bar now coming to the distribution bar I will do in the same way as I did here in the is in the main bar so how I will do distribution bar is also used they are also used is these are the distribution bar here now in another section now I am seeing it here like in this way section A so distribution length the length of this section is now 15 foot right so number 8 bars are used here like and these are now the main bars the dot and number 8 bars are used at 12 inches center to center so the number 8 I will add it number 8 because the number 8 bar are used in the distribution bar I will write it here the distribution bar the distribution bar in the footing and footing the shape is similar the length of the bar is we know that the length of this hole is 15 foot so similarly we can also find the length of this is 15 minus the clear cover of 2 3 inches to so 6 inches the hole dividing it by 12 to convert into foot and adding this hook length is 6 inches and 6 inches so 1 foot we are adding so we will get the total is 15 foot is 15.5 foot so we will write the length of the is 15.5 foot so how much the quantity are used again we are taking the plan view of the other section it is the total length is 12 foot here so in these distribution bars are placed now in this direction so what we do we will do the 12 into 12 by converting into inches we will get 144 dividing it these bars are used at 12 inches center to center distance so dividing by 12 we will get the quantity of bar we will get the 12 number of bars so we can write it here 12 numbers of bars the total length is, can be done by multiplying these two quantities we get the 186 186 is the total length of the bar and the weight of the unit weight of the one bar is 2.67 of number 8 bar so we write it here 2.67 to find the total weight of the bar we can write it here the total weight of the bar in pounds will be equal to 496 pounds to convert into inches we divide by 2 to 0 4 we will get the in tons point 22 tons right so we get the weight of the distribution bar is 0.22 ton so adding this 0.22 ton and 0.27 ton we will get the total weight of the bar 0.22 plus 0.27 we get the what we get the 0.49 tons it means almost 0.5 tons of reinforcement is used only in this footing So these were the some steps here carried out in the bar building schedule of the footing. We should know the bar number, which number of bar is used, description, which how we can de describe it, the shape of the bar, the length, how much the length of the bar, how much quantity, we can use the quantity. And then total length can be found out by multiplying the quantity with the total length of one bar. The weight of the bar is known to us, number 8 bar, and the total weight can be found out by 
multiplying this unit weight with the total length of the bar and then if you want to convert into tons we will divide by 2204 we will get the weight in tons similarly is the bar description in the for the uh, distribution bar so this was all about the bbs of the footing and i will upload more videos about the bbs and for subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates thank you for watching and share the video